Back by popular demand, the moment everyone has been waiting for, two games that are totally the same genre and obviously super comparable, the sixth entry in a legendary franchise, and what some may consider to be the best game of its franchise. Today, join us Chucklehead, Steven, Jacob, and myself, Brandon, as we decide which moves forward in our tournament. It's The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past versus Final Fantasy VI on this episode of Video Game Fight Club. This is a big boy. We it got is. a big boy. This is. this is one of the big ones. We have uh, returning <laughs> by popular demand, <laughs> apples and oranges. We've got Zelda and Final Fantasy back on another versus two great. We figured RPGs. y'all liked the last one so much we would do it again. Two great RPGs. Hey, to be honest, that was our most viewed video, yeah. so if, if the formula works, the formula works, but in all honesty... If it ain't broke, don't fix we, it. I'm looking at the bracket right now on Jacob's computer, and it looks like... we, we There could have been more RPGs on here. And we, we could we could even tweak these two brackets. We, yeah, we did What are you talking about? We have two RPGs right here. We did Two RPGs. RPG. We didn't put Earthbound. It, yeah. Earthbound is one of the ones that sadly just barely missed the cut. Secret of Mana. Secret of Mana, yeah. I think Secret of Mana would have been a better one to put up against Zelda, but, you know. Here we are. Here we are. So, these are... So, the winner, Legend of Zelda. <laughs> oh, oh. Is that early no. shots fired? No. Or? No, I got some ammo for Final Fantasy. Um, these are two of the biggest, grandest adventures you can have on the Super Nintendo. Mm-hmm. I feel like if you're going to Whoa. play... If, if, if you're going to tell someone, like, hey... This is like the most you're gonna get out of a cartridge. These these two. Oh are, yeah yeah yeah. These Fair. two are up there. Um, yeah. There's only a couple key differences. Um, of course, Zelda is more of an action adventure with some very light RPG elements. That you know back back then, the, those weren't even like defining what games were. No, there was like when yeah. It was, and uh, also labels weren't like, slung around. Uh, for genres, Legend of yeah. Zelda: Link to the Past is one of the best games ever made in the existence of humanity. So there's that too. Final Fantasy VI is also a really good game, but I think it has some issues. Let's go down the list, Jacob. Let's talk about visual. How they look? These are both really good. They look really games, good. But I think that Link to the Past has a little bit of an edge with the sprite okay. work. The sprites yeah. are a little bit bigger, a little I think bit I agree more with that. animated, a little bit more expressive. Mm-hmm. Uh, however, that is Zelda has a consistent art style all the way through, whereas um, Final Fantasy VI, the character sprites are very a lot smaller than like the enemies on the field, right? Whenever you get yeah, into, yeah, when you yeah. get into a battle, yeah. those bad guys, those sprites are like yeah, this, really yeah, good. The, the soldiers yeah. right off the bat, you're like, like, oh, that's what they look like. Oh, super, those are big. super detailed. Yeah. yeah, super detailed. But like the characters that you actually play as the little field models, mm-hmm. it's just such a shame that the the characters that you play as don't get that same upgrade in the battle. Yeah, because the magic but, the magic tech looks so cool too. Oh yeah, magic tech looks really cool but at the yeah. same time the um the enemies don't get animated like the no they don't they're just static the, the they're smaller, static yeah, the smaller. Yeah. Um, I will say I was going back looking at this game I feel like Mr. Barona uh Barone excuse me not Barona Barone started bar, creator bar, yeah started creator barred a little bit of sprite work from Final Fantasy uh 6 yeah, uh, and I, that's gonna sound weird. Go back and look at some, like oh, just know, look yeah. at Tara. That's one of the no, first things I noticed when about she looks it, at the camera and like her face. I'm like, yeah, no, that well, looks awful similar. No, no, so, it's similar. Similar. Well, have you ever played Ter- uh, Terraria? Mm-hmm. Terraria almost just straight up rips off Final Fantasy VI sprite work. Yeah, the character sprite work. Yeah, um, I think also like I don't know. It just the from a presentation standpoint, Zelda just like has the bosses the way they animate. Mm-hmm. Like the first boss that you fight in the games, like those little bouncing statues. Mm-hmm. I mean, those are okay, but then, like, whenever you fight the the Helmosaur King, he's, like, moving around, his tail's going all over the yeah. place, um, or you have the little worms, the sandworms jumping out. Yeah. Uh, it's That's really complex for the Super Nintendo. Well, yeah. It's, it's, it's really good. It's really... It's impressive. They're both, say, they're he's, both. He's, he's real great. They're both both impressive. Real great. But uh, also, there's a lot of different weapon animations mm-hmm. that Link uses. Um... Uh, I think from, like, a parallaxing standpoint, like, being able to kind of show foreground and background 
Like, whenever you're in a, a certain dungeon in Zelda, being able to see down a pit, and you can tell that you can fall through it and be okay, you'll yeah. just end up on the bottom layer, um, mm-hmm. just because of the way they, they parallax that background with mm-hmm. it a little yeah, bit. Agreed. Yeah, agreed. Um, I think, like, if we're just talking visuals specifically... Oh man, it's so close. It really is. It, it's close, but I gotta give it to Link to the I Past. To I, gotta, I, I gotta give it to Link to the Past too, man. Yeah. I mean, it's just, it just, it just meshes better in my opinion. It just everything, the way that it's laid out, and 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 the way that things interact with each other on the screen, like you had kind of touched on already. I think that they do a lot better of a job. In, yeah, in I think, I think, past. I think the best word here for me is consistency. I think, mm-hmm. I think. Final Fantasy VI has higher highs yeah. than Link to the Past, but yeah. I feel like it just... But their lows are lower, too. Link, no, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't even go that far. Really? I, would, I would just say Link to the Past just has a consistent art direction that goes all the way through. And yeah. it, it's like it's just weird whenever you see like a little wolf on screen, yeah. and then you get in the battle with him, and he's just like this wicked-looking, crazy yeah. pixel yeah. art. Yeah, Lobos. Yeah, yeah it's, just, it's just a little jarring, and it's not bad. I'm just I'm, I'm nitpicking right now. Yeah. Um, I understand. Let's talk about audio. Oof. Look. Oof. I'll start off the bat right here. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna say something controversial. Say it. You ready? Get See, it Steve's out. Steve's already gonna get mad. Get I it still out. think I still think Link to the Past. Those sounds, those mu- that music. I think the overworld theme is probably one of the most iconic songs in fantasy games. But I I, I went through and listened to all the music again this week to refresh my brain. Yeah. And as much as as great as it is, there's some of those themes in, in in Link to the Past are they like if I gave someone that had no understanding of video games and let them listen to like some Mario music and some like Link to the Past music, there's a little bit of overlapping there. I know you're like, no, there's no way, because Mario's up but like if you just just go back, do yourself a favor and go back and listen. Final Fantasy VI, how even though I I like some of the more the music more in in Link to the Past. I think Six has got a bigger variety of that classical orchestrated for the SNES. Yeah, that's not, that's not, that's not a bad opinion. That's for not a bad sure, opinion no, at all. for sure. I'm gonna tell you right now. I was torn. I t- it's a tie to me. To be honest with you. Audio I, is a I tie. think I think it's um, audio is a tie to me because I, I I can't choose between Koji Kondo's music and Nobuo Matsu. Let's can't. let's let's chew it over. Let's chew the fat a little bit because I, I think that um, Link to the Past has like instilled some of the themes the the musical themes in zelda that has been consistent without a doubt yeah. since then yeah that's what i'm saying yeah. like the great fairies theme, great fairies theme. uh Kakariko village yes uh the overworld theme that, for the most part the overworld theme was in the original was in the original yeah but uh there's just a lot of like uh, zelda's lullaby sure, i believe yeah. was, zelda's lullaby yeah. ganon's, ganon's okay. theme a lot of those were in were originated in link to the past and have been just like consistently expanded on but there are a couple songs in Link to the Past that, like, like the Fortune Teller theme song. Mm. Do you know that one? Mm. No, 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 no. The Fortune Teller. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh, that one was kind of. That's, that's kind of weird. That's yeah. like, that one's not that great. Um, but I, there's just some of them. The, the 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 way they ramp up. It like I was listening to it. I'm like, if I gave this to somebody, I, I, and I would say, hey, tell me if this is Link. Uh, is this is this Zelda or is this Mario? I think some of those songs they probably wouldn't be able to tell them apart. Now that's just listen to the music in a vacuum with no understanding. I don't know about. I don't know about. I don't know that. If I can listen. I'm, I'm, we'll go back after the show and listen. I'll, I'll show that, you Jacob. what I'm trying to tell you. Okay. okay. I'm, I'm going to hear I'm it. saying, listen, take take my opinion in a vacuum. You're talking to someone that doesn't know, have never heard the music, and they're just listening to it. You might not be able to tell. Now I'm saying in the situation, in the moment when you get to those areas and you do those fights, be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> when you get to those fights and the music kicks in, it's amazing. And it meshes well with the game. But I'm saying, variety-wise, Final Fantasy VI just has a lot more That's fair. I, That's fair. I think that Final Fantasy VI's music pushes the I don't know Super if I like Nintendo. It, I think it pushes the but, Super Nintendo to its absolute limits yeah, so, so what I, music I, I, I can be I think that's what I'm trying Not to Not only, like, here. Dancing Mad is like... Dancing, oh, man. Dancing um, Mad is such a banger, It's like man. a 12-minute song. Mm-hmm. The... Or, um, the the opera, the opera play. That that one's really good. I mean, I think I don't know if there is a single bad, quote unquote, bad song in Final Fantasy VI that's not meaning to be no, like no. joking or whatever. Which one? There's one that's like a westerny theme. I can't remember. It's oh, got that the vel- Oh, that shadows theme. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dwell, dwell, dwell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. really good. I mean, it's, 
I was so I can't I can't do it I cannot I cannot pick one that's better than the other because there are some absolute bangers on both of those man you're talking and like 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 the thing that really so they pull me for different reasons I think a lot of what Final Fantasy VI does stands out like their variety is mm-hmm. much better um, because I feel like a lot of their music isn't de- isn't designed to be a loop like a lot of what Zelda's is. Although they're they're it's a it's a, it's a video game, so it's it's all designed to be loop. But I feel mm-hmm. like like with Dancing Mad being the biggest example of that, it's a twelve minute piece, dude. You I think I think also thing. there's a little like Steve Steve's kind of get uh, working my my brain a little bit. I think there is more like. Um, overlapping yeah. repeats in Link to the Past, whereas yeah. Final Fantasy VI has mm-hmm. more, like, you don't really hear a lot of the same songs over and over. Right. No, no, no. But the thing that I that, that that makes it so difficult for me to choose is that the absolute quality of what what the music conveys in A Link to the Past that's, that's is what I was so yeah. so powerful because these 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 emotions like the thing about music is is that they're going to set the scene and give you that that twang of emotion Ooh. in in what you're doing so you know the first time you run into the wizard agna him mm-hmm. you know yeah. when you hear that game that's game's theme that's game's yeah. theme that's yeah. been reoccurring and a lot of the music that they have was so good that it's been popping up in just about every game in the series game's theme zelda all by like like we said you know all these different songs and so that the fact that they're so iconic, mm-hmm. in my opinion, is really why I can't I can't choose between okay, the well, two. Okay, let me, let me, let me help y'all. So what about Steve, sound, sound effects. effects. Sound We're not effects? talking about sound effects either. We're just talking about music. Ooh, cool. I don't know, man. Link I think Link got, got, got some got some good. That's sound why effects that, too. See that that's and, and again I wanted I wanted to give a good a good because I was kind of the same way because I thought I had Final Fantasy's music over. Into the past, yeah. but like when I talk about when we're talking about audio in general, we got we can't we can't take away from the uh, sound effects, and I was like, oh, and then Zelda sound. Effects. But here's the thing, though, and I'm um, still staying on the, the, the different the different source. Yeah. It's yeah. Can, it, mm, it sounds different, and yeah. that's cool, and I love that. But man, Final Fantasy got some bangers. So anyway, sound effects. Yeah, I think Zelda has better sound effects. I think Final Fantasy has better music. Yeah, but I, overall, I'm gonna give the audio department. To Final Fantasy as a whole, it's a tie. I have to. I have yeah. to. It's a tie yeah. to me, man. I I, I can't pick I'm one or the Final other. Fantasy now. All right, so this is another good one too, and and I I didn't finish these games, so I had to go back up and do a little more research because I never finished them as a kid. I didn't, get ch- I didn't have a time to finish them as an adult. But narrative story. That's a tie, man. Because just... this story for I me, mean, like Zelda, you know, the Zelda games are kind of there's a repeating arc, much like Mario. Okay, but with this okay, one there's, particularly... a, there's a repeating arc in them. You're right. Uh, but no, 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 Onto you, right? There yeah. is a lot you can find in the world and read about it, mm-hmm. but the way it's conveyed to you, if you're not really like, if you're just a player who's just kind of running through it, there's a lot of like really good precursor, yeah. precursor information there that is. you can find in the um, like the instruction manual, mm-hmm. um, stuff like that. Whereas with Final Fantasy, because it is a JRPG, all of the story you need to know is happening in your face right there. It's the all moment. there. Moment it's, moment. It's the yeah. way you digest it is. Complete. Yeah. It's given to you. Are you totally skipping all this? Are you just not reading the dialogue? Are you reading it? Are you getting right, like, absorbing all of it? Yeah. It's all in your face. But I think, like, as far like let's let's ignore. The, Speaking of JRPGs, there's amnesia. Yeah. Let, let's <laughs> let's ignore let's ignore like the universe that they're set in and uh-huh. just the story that's told sure. in these particular tales. Yeah. Uh, I think. I kind of like Zelda. Zelda. I don't know. Do Final Fantasy VI. The Esper thing is cool. So, I, and, but the thing is, there's the overarching story in Final Fantasy VI. But then each character, yeah, some, some more the than way others, they, the way they're fleshed out, I, I, some some more than others, yeah. get fleshed out a hundred percent. And the way you play the game, mm-hmm. you might some of them could die. So yeah. you, you you might lose some of them permanently. You don't know. Yeah. And then also, um, just like the how intense and, and mature the story is. I oh, mean, yeah, there's yeah. themes about like one character c- tries to commit suicide and mm-hmm. there's like a whole story like that char- that one character story is super dense. Who's the su- kid? Which kid? There's a kid. 
Oh, the Berserker kid? Yeah. Oh, don't worry about him. He, he's the same. Okay. <laughs> he's part of the... <laughs> really? He's the weakest link? Well him, well, him and that, like, monster guy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Gal? Yeah. Yeah, no. Yeah. I'm talking about, like, the story with Celeste. The story with Locke and his, his oh, wife yeah, that Locke passes. Yeah, that's right. Um, the story with, with, with Tara and how she's caught in between mm. two worlds Race of being a, weapon, of yeah. being a human and being... You know, she's half Esper, pretty much, mm-hmm. and how, like you said, she's being weaponized. Um, and Shadow's story, which is... Yeah, sorry. He, he'll slit... It. I heard that guy would slit his mom's throat for a nickel. That's what they say in the game. Mm-hmm. Hey, Final Fantasy VI has the better story. You think so? I think so. I think... I just... Yeah. I, just, I don't know... I, man, I came in this thing thinking that Zelda had the better story, and then the more I thought about it, Final Fantasy VI got the better story. But I'm just so tied. I'm, I'm tied on it, man. It's it's a big tie. Is it another me. draw for you? I, I. Here's the thing, man. This is a pinnacle of SNES storytelling, man. Both of these games, in my opinion, just like some of the best storytelling in video games, man. It's just some of the best backstories. I mean, you look at Zelda that's like, you know, it starts you off talking about the Imprisoning War when Ganondorf and the the thieves go into the Sacred Realm, steal the Triforce, Ganondorf portrays the the thieves. It's great. And then then it's centuries later. Hyrule's under famine. This wizard, Agnihim, comes in and helps everybody out, but then he starts kidnapping. the power, yeah. Exactly. Kidnapping the maidens. And you gotta go get the Master Sword, and just the way that it's set up, in my opinion, is yeah, really I, great. I, I think, Final Fantasy VI is so good. Too. I think that's I think you're 100 percent on the same page. Yeah, I feel like if I'm having if I'm having to critically compare these two, I'm just gonna say if you miss that first crawl, that first text crawl in the beginning of Link to the Past, you I, you miss a lot of that, yeah, that precursor I, I information. Think I agree with you, man. You know what I'm saying, I and, I'm, and I'm, with... not, I, I'm only saying that. I love both of these games yeah. more than anything, yeah. and I don't even—I don't even want to vote on this. I'm just trying. Oh, I'm, tr- I'm trying to have a conversation that's fair to both of these. Exactly. I'm, trying, I'm trying to find negatives. I think I agree with you, Brandon. I think I'm going to give but, a nod to Final Fantasy for well, story. Well, here let's talk about something. Let's talk about something that that the, both these games bring to the table. They they both repeat some stuff from the from the NES version. But they also bring new stuff, and that's the mechanics. The Legend of Zelda: Link to the Past. The light dark mechanic is. Better than Final Fantasy VI when it comes to, from a mechanical standpoint. I mean, you can change out your party. That's kind of cool. That's Fantasy cool, VI. but that's really we cool, have to we have to talk about Final Fantasy VI has it's kind of saying it's same. broken. It's it's broken in areas. Mm, like yeah. there's I can't name off the top of my head because I'm I'm on the I'm on the spot. But like there are actual broken systems in that game that yeah. just don't work. Yeah, there's, you can glitch the heck out of it. Mm. Uh, and you can glitch the heck out of Link to the Past, but you gotta know what you're looking for in that. Yeah. I feel like you could run into issues with Final Fantasy VI more than you could Link to the Past. But let's talk about dungeon design. Mm-hmm. Expert, like, some of the best dungeons in the entire series. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's talk about, like you said, the light and dark world mechanic. That's such a clever mechanic. They're taking the same map, they're switching it up on the fly. I think giving I, you... I, think, I mean, the, the games do that now. I, yeah. Dude, you know, what's, you know yeah. what blows my mind? Is whenever you play Link to the Past, you get all three pendants, and you pull the Master Sword, and you go beat Agnihim, and you're like, oh, man, I did it. I saved the day. And he's like, no, you did not. No. Nah. And then he, boom, you haven't even got halfway through the game. You're mm-hmm. like, oh, my gosh, I didn't even realize. Right. Yep. Uh, that's, that's pretty cool. You got dope. seven more dungeons to go through, my dude. It's pretty cool. You got to save the, the, the maidens. This is, is this the first place we one. see the Master Sword? It wasn't in the original one. So, so, so they retconned it There's into the, it. The uh, light sword. The, okay. the, they retconned it into there. It wasn't called the Master Sword. It was the first time it was called the Master Sword was in the Wings of the Past. Okay. Uh, but they, they went back and they like, yeah, the Golden Sword and that, ah, okay. and that Silver dude, Sword. That dude, going. getting yeah. those three pendants and pulling the Master Sword is one of the most oh, yeah. iconic mm-hmm. scenes on Every the single Nintendo. game, every mm-hmm. single game where Link pulls out that Master Sword, it's got the same music where, and it's just so, so yeah, dramatized it so and it's just... It's, Let's mm-hmm. just talk about this being an open world game on an NES. Basically, yeah, it's basically now, an open world. Final Fantasy VI was like open world. I feel like... Oh, I kind feel like of. I feel like Link to the Past had a better sense of direction because it was telling you where you needed to go. Yeah, yeah, Whenever yeah. you would open the map, it would tell yeah, you where all the stuff Link was. And stuff, yeah. And it's cleverly designed to let you know, like, oh, you can't you can go where yet. you can kind of somewhat go where you. Whereas with Final go. Fantasy VI, if you don't know what you're doing, you might stumble into an area where you're like, I'm not a high enough level to do right. this. Yeah. And also, there's not a lot of hand holding. There's in grinding. Mm-hmm. There's grinding. Yeah. Grinding. You're rewarded with grinding in a, a JRPG, whereas you're rewarded with exploring in something like Zelda, and mm-hmm. I think I prefer the... Agreed. At this Agreed. Point, oh, yeah. The exploring. Agreed. I think Link to the Past is better. Grinding could be very tedious. Right. So, in a lot of Final Fantasy games, you have to... I'm sorry. Dude. No, no, no. no you have, you have, thoughts, to, you have to grind out to, 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 yeah. ex, to, to, to grow in the game, you know? And so 
you know, I, I understand that, you know, every game is going to have a grindy aspect to it, but the thing is, and, and, and this is where a lot of RPGs in general are uh, kind of lose people is that grinding mechanics. Well, I mean, so that's what Final th that, that game is a game on numbers. Yeah, that's, that's a numbers game. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, without a doubt. Stats. And I'm not saying that there's anything yeah. wrong with that, but if you got to compare the two, the two types of systems, mm -hmm. you know, more people are going to look for the instant gratification. Oh, yeah, I think also there's a there's a lot of characters to pick. I, I don't know where you would put this in this this comparison, but Man, there's there's a game. lot of characters to choose from to put in your party in Final Fantasy VI. Mm -hmm. I feel like some of them are just way better or they play different. They you play. Can all spec them the same at the yeah. end of the day, right? Kind of. No, not really. Um, it's not like I mean they all they all have separate jobs, but I'm, yeah, I'm being like you could kind of sort of you know. like they didn't all have magic powers like um, you know Edgar's the one with all the machine the machine mm -hmm. powers and no one else can do that or uh, Sabin Sabin is the only one. Well, that that can is do. one thing I preferred about the uh, older Final Fantasies was the fact that each each individual character had their own unique traits. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It wasn't just physical. Yeah, they kind of set the tone for jobs. Different. Yeah, yeah. So, but but some of those characters like that kid and he kind of. Sucks. Seven and eight, in my opinion, and I don't mean to bring up other Final Fantasy games. But seven and eight, in my opinion, you know, I I, I kind of didn't like that as much. But what he's trying to say is, when nine came out and it returned to return its to the roots, roots yeah. it made it better mechanically, yes. which is kind of what you had because to say. it it made you think a little harder about who was in your party. Because mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell yeah. you right now, every time I play seven, it's always Cloud, Barrett, Vincent, or Cloud, Sid, Vincent. Yeah, those three every time. I, you know, and the other ones kind of suffer, and it's nothing against them. It's just those are the ones that I prefer. Whereas with Final Fantasy, you get to experiment a little bit. Six, more. you get to experiment yeah, a little sure. more. Yeah, the ones like that, and so I think that you know that's a very strong argument in favor of Final Fantasy Six's oh, mechanics. Man. Because it gets a unique play style. I think we're running long. So we're yeah, I was gonna say, all right, that's what I was about to say. We got to blaze through these. So all right, yeah. stand the test time. Tie. Yeah, I gotta say, I got. It's a tie. I gotta say, Link. It, it's a tie to me because it favors it out just this if I have to, if you had to pick one I'm gonna say Zelda yeah I can't I cannot pick them because they all have their own unique reasons why you'd want to go back in time mm -hmm. uh, to it uh, if you're gonna go back to a 2d Zelda game nine times out of ten sorry nine times out of ten you're gonna go back to a link to the past yeah yeah because sure. it's the best one of them all you know and you can even make an argument that it's the best Zelda it's the best 2d Zelda without a doubt without a shred of doubt uh, and Final Fantasy VI, Final Fantasy VI has an argument for it being the best classic Final Fantasy game of all time mm -hmm. because of how good it is. I mean, the end of the world literally happens in that game, mm. you know? And that that final battle with Kefka is probably one of the most iconic battles in Final Fantasy history. And so that in and of itself is a reason to go back to it. I don't know why I haven't remade that game yet. Why haven't they? Anyway. Now, I thought it was really cool that they brought him in the Final Fantasy XIV. XIV. Dying to do that fight. Fight. Revolutionary for, for, for the Revolutionary for the system. I'm going to say uh, A Link to the Past. Zelda. A Link to the Past is very Zelda. revolutionary, just the way that it did all this new stuff. Final Fantasy VI yeah. kind of just continued the same old Final Fantasy form. And this is a no-brainer. What represents the console when you this think of it? Zelda. Zelda. Zelda, 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 Zelda. So, boys, I'm going to all fire off first. I'm going to go ahead and give this to Link to the Past. For much of the invention, there's some there's some ties in there for me. There's some places where Final Fantasy wins, but I think it goes back to a big one for me on this one is going to have to be does it stand the test of time? And going back and playing Final Fantasy VI, there was a point where I was doing some research this last week, and I was like, oh, okay, I'm kind of bored. I'm just gonna it's, be that's fair. It's, 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 it kind of comes down to a dang old fun. It's a text heavy game. Yeah, yeah. Like, you, you got You got to you have to have the, the mindset of like you're basically reading. You're playing an interactive book, mm -hmm. like an interactive novel. Yeah, and Link just is good old dang old fun. Like we use that phrase I mean, all the time. The grindy nature of it. No, mm -hmm. I completely yeah. understand. So Link's the past for me. Brandon, you want to go next, or you want me to go next? You can go next. Ooh, I think we should end with Steve. That's his. Baby. You think so? That's his baby. That's I'll so go. Hard. I'll go. Um, so hard for me. Not that it's gonna make your opinion invalid, because I still want to hear it. But I think. I think the the winner is Zelda here. I think it's it's hard. It's a hard pick, but I think. If you're going to talk about like a technical perspective, like how they perform, mm -hmm. uh, I think Zelda is the right answer. But if I'm going to put a little bit of bias in there, I think Legend of Zelda Link to the Past, like I mentioned at the top of this recording, is, is one of the best games that's ever been made ever and to this day. It's in the GOAT category. I, if you were to ask me what my favorite Zelda game is, uh, it's probably Link to the Past. I love Breath of the Ooh. Wild. I love that game, but... Something about Link to the Past is just, it's such a concise, no, man, perfect little puzzle box of a game. It's just, it it's borderline flawless. I don't know how else to describe you've, that game. You've effectively nailed it on the head, man. I mean, it's, it's, 
Whenever I came to I'm so this stressed one, out right know, now. <laughs> when I came to this one, man, I said I'm gonna be I am gonna be unbiased. I am going to give both games a very fair shot because Final Fantasy VI deserves all the accolades, all the recognition. I mean, in all honesty, this could have very well been the championship round because if that's that's how much of a heavy hitter it is. But man, the Link to the Past is a classic. And okay, it is in the Gaming Hall of Fame. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You, this We're forgetting game, to mention that. And, and man, I don't want to. I mean, I don't want to take anything away from and, Final Fantasy VI. Final Fantasy VI is not the best Final Fantasy. It's very good, very good. There's an argument that can be made of it, yeah, but if you go points? out there and you ask the general uh, public, I can't speak on that right if now. You, okay. If you if you ask the general public, too stressed out to talk about that. No, no, let me let me let me let me be clear. This is not my opinion. This is just the general public's opinion. A lot. If you ask a lot of people what their favorite Final Fantasy game, what do you think most people are going to say? Seven. Seven. And then what do you think other people We're are going to say? Talking mainstream, yeah. They're either going to say nine or nine six. Nine or six, yeah. And that's fair. fair. And, and let me tell you something. There, an argument can be made for Final Fantasy VI, but I'm going to tell you right now, A Link to the Past, there are people within the Zelda fandom that are constantly arguing over whether Ocarina of Time mm. or A Link to the Past is the best Zelda game. And it's those two schools of thoughts are the only, are the, the most prominent ones. Now, yeah, you got the outliers who are just like Majora's Mask is the best. You got the outliers that say Breath of the Wild is the best. But the majority of the people in the Zelda community, right then and there, it's going to be between those two games. Yeah. I need to address something before we close. Yeah. Um, Steve is looking to my soul. I am, I am genuinely <laughs> trying to... A, a lot of people are thinking we're going to go into this that Link to the Past is just the shoe-in winner. Mm-hmm. And I'm going into this trying to be as critical as possible on this game. Yeah. And every game for that sake. Because this particular bracket, this entire this entire season, I've got to do that with all these games. Yeah. And I don't know what, what to vote for. I did it last. I did, I did it during the NES. But the winner for today, Let's Zelda. Annihilated. Link to the Past strikes Final Fantasy VI down and moves forward as our winner. Looks like Zelda gets the chance it never had in Season 1. Thanks for watching, and if you don't mind, leave us a like, a lovely comment down below on how you feel about these incredible games, and of course, subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.